big wheels keep on turning, Mary Jane burning, you know? Um, <laughs> Adrian Kelly kind of gave me a, a little high. All right, I'll keep it good. <laughs> Before I start, I just want to say happy birthday, Mom, to whoever's recording me. Yo, you're recording me. Yeah, happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> I'm going to have to, you know, upload that to YouTube and give it to her. She turned 61, and some of you are like, wow, she must be pretty young. Yeah, I guess, you know. I mean, if you guys are around that age and you have any sons that are like my age, then Give a round of applause for, you know, Margo and everybody that set this up, you know, like this is, this is awesome. So we're smart enough to put it, you know, to have this on a Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30 instead of Friday from 4 to 5 because I would just be performing in front of a bunch of empty chairs. <laughs> well, yeah, um, I'm, a, I'm 25 years old. I'm a quarter of a century. And I'm already going through a midlife crisis. So I guess once I get to the midlife, will I be going through a midlife crisis? Is that the way to find out? I mean, I have to be going through a midlife crisis because I've been doing some really crazy things lately, like rock climbing, kayaking, doing stand-up in front of my coworkers. Like, who does that? Like, that's, that's crazy. I even got kicked out of my gym for stealing. I mean, in my defense, they're called free weights. <laughs> I, I thought they would look nice next to, you know, my weighing scale in my bathroom. I mean, like, why do we put the weighing scale in the bathroom, you know? It's like, how oh, after we poop, we weigh ourselves, and like, all right, I love the bathroom. Where are we put it? It's been in front of the refrigerator. So, you know, when we're getting something to eat, we're like, all right, what do I want? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Well, we all work here. I mean, I've seen you before, too. We all work here. <laughs> um, yeah, so we all work here. And, you know, so we all have experienced the really long, awkward hallways. And, you know, it's, it's funny. Like, because, you know, when I'm walking towards you and you're walking towards me, you guys like to look at everything else. Except, like, you guys whip out your cell phones like you have signal in the hallway. Like, <laughs> like I stare at you the entire time. I like to play little games with you guys, too. Like, when you guys are walking towards me, since you're not looking at me, I just like to stand there. <laughs> wave. You guys never wave, guys. Um... Yeah, how am I on time? <laughs> I wonder if I should do this joke, but whatever, I'll do it. Um, so, I'm 25, and a lot of people I work with are, you know, older mothers and stuff, and I've noticed that, because they have a kid, you know, that's cool, because they have an excuse to leave work early. <laughs> and like, oh, you know, I heard that my kid's vomiting at school, so I gotta go home and leave. Like, See, that's awesome. Like, you just have an excuse. Like, I don't have kids. I don't have pets. I don't have anything. So I can't just say it to my boss. Like, hey, Charlene, um, I just remembered. I don't feel like being, at, being here right now. So. <laughs> so it's kind of hard preparing for this because I had to make it as PG as possible. Not that I'm a dirty comic or anything, but you know, I couldn't curse. And I don't think I cursed yet, did I? <laughs> and yeah, so I came up with a lot of funny, silly G rated jokes. Would you like to hear them? I you guys weren't really that excited. <laughs> There's a rare genetic disorder appearing in goats called the Billy Jean. It's when the male goat believes the kid has not been signed. <laughs> the no outlet sign has a 
totally different meaning for Tesla owners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mars has only given us two things, men and chocolate. Yeah. One causes immediate regret and weight gain, and, and the other is chocolate. <laughs> yeah, this is my last joke. Um, so to know when guys like to brag about how often they've been abroad, I mean, I've been abroad all my life, you don't see me bragging about it. 